Hello and welcome to the Continuous Integration video series. In the past video, we discussed the important phases of a continuous integration lifecycle and demonstrated how Talend uses continuous integration philosophies to add efficiency and speed to your development. We followed that by demonstrating how to build a test case in Studio. The second video will focus on how to automate your build through Jenkins and Maven. Let's get started. When you build a model in Talon Studio, you configure components within the design window to assemble a job. The job model shields you from the complexity of the integration. Jenkins and Maven take the job model and generate the Java source code, compile it into a Java executable, and then publish it to the artifact repository, in this case Nexus, where it can be deployed to any environment for execution in a self-contained executable file. Let's walk through the process together. First off, you should already have the Jenkins environment with Maven plugin installed and configured for your system. You will also need to install the Talon CI Builder plugin for Maven, which is available as part of your product download. I already have everything installed and ready to go. In the last video, we succeeded in creating test cases for our Talon job in the studio. Now we're going to automate it by first configuring a Jenkins job, which generates the Java source code and the second level Maven POMs from our SVN repository. The second Jenkins job then compiles the data into deployable Talon jobs. To configure this Jenkins project, I'll make sure it's pointed to my SVN repository. I'll then specify the root POM file, the project object model file, representing our parent build. And our goals and options for this particular step are to configure the Talon CI Builder plugin to generate our source code. Additionally, we will need to specify some additional Maven options to indicate our Talent command line server that will be responsible for compiling our source code. Click Save. When we run this project in Jenkins, the source code is being pulled from the SVN repository into a temporary workspace where Jenkins can generate the Java code using the defined command line. Our next step will be to compile and test our process. We will now compile the generated code by heading to our Jenkins compile job and configure this in a similar fashion. Here we specify the main POM file of our newly generated source code provided through the Talon CI Builder plugin. We will reference the same temporary workspace that was defined when we set up our Jenkins environment. Our goal is to package this code and get it ready for publishing to our artifact repository. Again, we will indicate additional Maven options to indicate our Talon command line server that will now be used to package our code into executables. Click Save. As this job executes, we can take a look at the test result trend window, and we can see that the jobs are being compiled and the tests are being executed successfully. Now that our job has been built, tested, and packaged, the final step is to deploy these artifacts to our artifact repository, in this case, Nexus. Here we're going to specify the exact artifact that we want to deploy, and we specify the goal as deploy. Click Save, and we'll go ahead and run this project. Our project was successful. We can now go into our Nexus repository, and we can see our job is available for deployment to any environment we want to deploy to. Thank you for watching this video on automating your build process. Your next step is to watch the last video in this series covering how to use Talon to deploy your code to different environments using Talon Administrator Center, or TAC. Thank you very much.